I mean, we know Wanda, we know Vision, we know Falcon, we know the Winter Soldier, we know Loki, and we know Hawkeye. Hello everyone, it's Nate. So, Disney Plus Day just happened, and um, we got a whole slate to go through. So, let's take a look. So the first one is X-Men 97, and apparently they are gonna continue the story that the old X 90s X-Men left off. They're gonna continue that. Which I'm all for. That's such an awesome idea. I can't believe they're even doing it. It's nice. Next one is Echo. So this is a spin-off of a character that's gonna be introduced in the new Hawkeye show. Which, as we can see with a lot of these, are uh, spin-offs of characters we know or are going to know. Spider-Man freshman year. You know, it's probably the first, yeah, first outing for Spider-Man, first couple of time, yeah, boom, 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 like, Batman first year, Spider-Man first year, I think so. For me, it's more about how the animation works, because I really enjoy the 90s cartoon, and also spectacular Spider-Man. So, it really depends on the animation. Agatha, House of Harkness. So, again, a spin-off. She, I really liked her when in Wonder Vision, but having her headline a show like this, I don't know if she can put it off. We kind of know from this that she's not gonna appear in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, which I'm fine with. And they can do all these witches, sorcery thing in this show, so it could be good. But again, a spin off character Marvel Zombies. This one is a harder one. They kind of introduced idea teased it a bit in uh, Spider-Man what was it far from home uh, with the Mysterio scene and also they did it in the what if series but I really don't know enough so I even I don't even know if it's a live action or cartoon but again it's Disney it's gonna be PG it's zombies it could work I don't know She-Hulk so this trailer we're gonna watch in just a second. I really hope they have some good court scenes in this show, like in Daredevil, because she needs that as a lawyer. Perhaps Matt Murdock will show up. Tatiana Maslany, great casting choice. My only problem is we know the Hulk. We've known him for a long time and, well, she's just a female version of him, like, when it comes to powers. So, Again, something we kind of know, Miss Marvel. Well, I really don't have any expectations to this. Like, it could be good, could be bad. <laughs> I don't know. We just, we just have to see. Moon Knight. This one I'm excited for because when you look at the whole slate, this is the one. Really, uh, this is the one really an original show. We don't know the character. I don't even sure. I'm not even sure about his powers. I mean, I heard that he's like Marvel's answer to a Batman, and also he suffers from a personality disorder of multiple personalities, something like that. So I'm really interested. He's he's not a spin-off character. Again, something we haven't seen, something new, something fresh. Oscar Isaac, Ethan Hawke. I mean, great casting. So really excited. And the trailer. Ooh. What if? Season 2. Well, of course this was gonna happen. I haven't watched all the episodes, but what I did watch, like the end and uh, Doctor Strange episode, and the what if the Avengers was killed, murdered. What I watched was great, I liked it. I am Groot. I mean, come on. It's gonna be awesome. Ironheart. Again, mixed feelings about this. Ironheart, I think it was what released in something 2011. A lot of people don't like this story. We've seen Iron Man, his story has been completed and someone new taken over. Ah, I'd rather watch the uh, War Machine show that we were promised. Machine... No, uh, Armor Wars. But again, until we get a look at these things for real, it's, it's hard really to say. Secret Invasion. So, again, like I said, that's that. It's, again, kind of a spin-off. We know Nick Fury, uh, 
uh, we know the scrolls introduced in Captain Marvel. I mean, I'm I'm really excited for this one. Uh, they released a quick shot of Nick Fury with a beard and without his eye patch. He looks gritty in this. I really hope they're going to do something new with Nick Fury, going dark or give him a proper challenge. Well, enough of this. Let's check out the trailers. Let's start with She-Hulk. The age of biotechnology is upon us. You have a bright future ahead of you. For years I've been treating the Hulk like he's some kind of disease, something to get rid of. Scott? Hello? She was locked herself in the lab, and I think she might do something medically crazy to herself. But then I start looking at him as the cure. of biotechnology is upon us. They shoot him. Oh god, they shoot Matt Murdock. <laughs> Jeez. Wow, I'm... They shoot Matt Murdock. I'm so hyped now. It's... Oh, I did not expect that. Ah... Uh... Just imagine the trials, the court scene, a trial, Matt Murdock versus She-Hulk. I don't know what her real name is. Uh, just going at it in the court. Oh. oh. Okay. The hype for that, it just, just went up. Now, Moon Knight. There is more to the moon. The childish stories. But what he's possessed by an Egyptian god, a spirit. Tell or... me about that day. Something there have like been that. five major extinctions in the Earth's history. The sixth extinction. Be Nothing can justify what we did. There is more to the moon than childish stories. Uh -huh. Not much to see there. I'm kind of disappointed <laughs> because she like, had been murdered. But, and yeah, the last time he was in Egypt, Oscar Isaac, he was Apocalypse, and we know how that went. But again, these are called first look trailers. So until we get an official long trailer, which will show us, yeah, the story behind it. For what we got, you know, we just had to wait and hopefully we will see more. So, see you in the next one. Bye. So, I was most excited to see Moon Knight. After watching this, it's, I gotta be honest, it's She-Hulk, baby.